Hi everyone and welcome. It's Peg and today I want to talk to you a little bit about watercolor pencils. Now I have several sets and I'm going to discuss all of them. I'm swatching them all out and I'm going to give you some of my ideas about how I will use these and what I like and don't like about them and price variances and that sort of thing. If you want to skip the first part where I'm doing the swatching and, you know, just having a little bit of chat about this stuff, you can go to about 13 minutes out and you will see uh, my conclusions. But this first one is a pan set that I got from Jerry's Artorama when I went to uh, Art of the Carolinas. They were running a special. I can't even remember what I paid for it, but um, they are still on sale. And um, you may be interested in this. I found I found several different options for purchase for this particular set, so I'll talk about that later. But um, there are 72 pencils in this set. It comes nicely packaged with a uh, swatch card and all the colors and things on there printed out for you nicely so that you can just pull the one that you're looking for. And of course, I make a few errors in judgment when I'm pulling them out and not reading correctly with my bifocals, but um, I will, you know, pull those up with some uh, water and put the right colors in the right spots. And, you know, you can pull some of that back and scrub a little bit out and put down the right color. So, um, 72 colors, that's a lot of colors to swatch and get them all right. So, they have a place to put them down and then uh, I take my wet brush and I just move across the color and pull it into that other area so that you can see there's where I made a mistake and I had to pull that out. <laughs> brushing that out, cleaning it all out, and putting the right color in the right spot. Um, so, this uh, paper that they give you is not pure white. It's kind of a cream color. So, the other kits that I got did not have a nice swatch thing like this in it, so I just used some B paper because the B paper was about as close as I could get to what this swatch panel was. Um, trying to do a fair comparison, I used the same brush in all of my swatching. Okay, so here I'm just starting to wet and pull it out. And you can see that there's definitive lines. Uh, it's not moving as nicely as I would like for a watercolor pencil. Um, you know, some, some of them blend out a little bit easier than others, and this one takes a little bit of work to uh, get those lines worked out, so probably not my favorite, but it's still, it's still usable. So next up are these Aqua Blend. These are from Spectrum Noir, and I was able to purchase a set for $11.99 in one of those uh, discount stores. And um, this one happens to be the floral set. There are several different sets, and I think what they do for Spectrum Noir is they make smaller sets, like this is a 24 set, and then uh, in different combinations, like if you were going to do a floral and if you were going to do the primaries and that sort of thing, they have uh, different sets available. And um, I did look them up on Amazon to see what was available, and there are a number of different things available out there. I am uh, getting out my pencil sharpener because some of these uh, are taking a little bit of sharpening. They, they did not come with a sharp point. And uh, I like this particular pencil sharpener because it has uh, the two different sizes. So these barrels are a little bit bigger and I have to use the other side to sharpen these pencils. 
so I'm starting to swatch. I do like the vibrancy of these. Um, they do move better than the last set. So, yeah, moving on to uh, doing finishing out the swatching on this. Um, I just came across the words that I wrote out in the pencil color and put it down with a regular uh, pen. And you can see that these are a lot more vibrant and that they're moving a lot better on the page in comparison to the Cezanne. Okay, getting a third set out. These are my ink tints. Now these are not regular watercolor pencils per se. They are, they, their claim to fame is that they are ink, not watercolor. So I am just uh, swatching these, putting the number down beside them. And I have taken mine, they, they typically come in a nice uh, pan, but I don't like to have those big pans out on my desk when I'm working. And I do like to take these things with me sometimes. So I put mine in this carrier case and added a few other things to the carrier case, like my water brushes and um, it seems to be working for me, but I did repurpose the tin. <laughs> I think I'm using it for my uh, gel plates now. So there you can see them all laid out, and I'm starting to add water and swatch, and you can see how vibrant they are and how nicely they, they blend. It doesn't take much effort at all. Um, so that ink tense is really an intense color. And um, I gotta say, I really like it. If you're looking for a really bright, intense color and an easy way of transporting color, these ink tents are something that I would recommend. Now I do also have the ink tents blocks. And when I use the blocks, I can just take my watercolor brush and pick up the color off of the block just like a, a watercolor pan. So those are available also, but if you want the versatility, now the, the nice thing about the block is it's a solid block of color. You don't have the wood to deal with, but if you want the versatility of being able to draw with a fine line, then the pencils are also a really good option. So, you know, both, both are useful and yes, I do have both because I can find a use for both in my artwork. So I'm going to uh, take these color swatches and I'm also going to try to re-wet them because uh, one of the things that they say about ink tents is that it does not uh, re-wet. Well, I think it depends on how much pigment you're laying down. If you're laying down enough pigment and there's still pigment sitting on top, if you haven't wet every last little granule, it is going to move. So just be aware of that. Um, one of the other things that I think is nice about this set is they do send an outliner. So, uh, and I also like that it has the gray tones and a white, which I did not find in those other sets. You would have to blend them out. So here are those gray tones and both sides of the color spectrum, you know, the blues and the uh, blacks and browns and grays. So here I'm just gonna uh, swatch down some color and try to re-wet it and see how that turns out. And I'm doing that for each pan set so that you can see what the results are. There's the ink tense, blending that one out. I'll dry it down because, you know, once it's dry, it should not move. 
and then the Cezanne also. Just putting it on the paper, you can see that it does not even look as intense um, in the just colored down form. Okay, so here we go. I am finding that these are not really that blendable on the dry paper. I don't know if you're uh, using it as a wet form, how that would work. I probably need to try that also, but um, today we're just doing this for a comparison. I am going to get you some prices and talk about that and uh, the differences between all three sets. Here I'm re-wetting it to see if it's going to move and, and what that does. Uh, We'll get final results. So let me do a quick overview here. We have the Spectrum War Aqua Blend, the Cezanne Professional Watercolor, and the Ink Tints. So I've swatched all of these out, and I have some findings for you. So let me get this. Now there is a big price difference, um, I can tell you that. This is the swatch card that comes with the Cezanne. I have to say, I was least impressed with them. I think these are going to work best if I'm just using them over the top of another watercolor and doing my shading. I think that would work just fine. But as a base coat, you're going to have to do a number of layers with this particular pencil. All three of these are round barrel. Um, I don't. I pr prefer one that isn't going to roll off of my desk and break. But you know that's the way they made them. So, and this is a kit of 72. Um, I did price them, and they they do blend out. You know after they've dried down with. You know they they do move. Uh, the Cezanne is um, 47. 69 at Jerry's and they're on sale right now for $24.99 so if you go to Jerry's you can get them for $24.99 however on Amazon if you've got Amazon Prime uh, you can get them for $29.99 and there's a 15% off coupon so um, you know check out Amazon if you have Amazon Prime but you can see the set that I have Wait a minute, which one is these? This is Cezanne. The set that I have. It's intense. This is Cezanne. Good heavens. Okay. The set that I have is the uh, 72 set. And I know they sell some smaller sets if you're not interested in having this many colors. Um, I like having all of these earthy tones as well as the blues, greens, reds, yellows. So. It's a nice set. Um, I just don't think it is up to what they're calling it. Excuse me. Um, because they label it as professional watercolor pencils. Um, I would say these are student grade, not professional. Just my opinion. It does come nicely packaged. It includes a round brush. I used the round brush for my swatching for all three just so that it was a fair comparison and I did use the B watercolor paper on all three too just to see how it does so this this swatching here was done on the B watercolor paper okay that's Saison let me look at the Spectrum Noir now the set that I bought I got uh, in a discount store for $11.99. They said comparative value was $39.95. They're Aqua Blend Pencils, 24 set. And this set happens to be the floral set. You see down here. So they do have a primary set, a floral set, you know, several different sets. I did not find a set of 72. 
24 was about as big as I saw in these aqua blends. Um, I do like the aqua blends. They do blend out nicely. They're not as intense as some others, but, um, you know, for $11.99 and $24, I'd say that's a pretty good bargain. So I'm very happy with my bargain. Um, for you, if you go look at uh, the primary set on Amazon, they do sell for the $39.95. So the comparison is comparable. However, right now on Amazon, and I do put the links in the description box below, uh, the floral set, which is what this is, is selling for $25.38. So that's a pretty good savings right there on this aqua blend set if you like this particular set and if you're doing florals I think these are are really nice for florals um, if you do a lot of card stamping and and do florals I think these would be a very nice set for not too much I mean that's about a dollar a pencil which is not bad if you if you go price watercolor pencils a uh, dollar pencils very reasonable and I just got the deal where they were about 50 cents a pencil. So, Ink Tents, my favorites. I love how vivid this is. Um, you don't find that intensity with any other. Um, even though they say Ink Tents is permanent once it's dried down, if you have any pigment still puddled up, it will re-wet. You can see how I re-wet this and it was able to move because you can see where the pencil mark is still there. It didn't get totally blended out. That does re-wet and move. Um, this is a set of 72. My set is a set of 72. Uh, it did come in a tin. However, I repurposed the tin and put it in this carry case so that I can take it with me and add my uh, watercolor brushes. I've got my my brushes and my, uh, this is your, it comes with this outliner. So this is not going to move. It comes with an outliner. Um, I also have my uh, other graphite pencil in here and a couple of water brushes. So this is very travel friendly. Um, but of the three, if I'm just going to take something for watercolor, this would be my choice. However, I do like these, but you have limited color palette and you'd have to take several. And the Cezanne, you have to layer and layer and layer. Not my choice for travel. I would definitely say I would layer this over some other uh, watercolor. So that's my take on watercolor pencils. Thanks, guys.